Hi there, let's take a look at urbanisation. Urbanisation is an increase in the proportion of people living in towns and cities. It's happening worldwide with over half the global population now living in urban areas. The wealth of a country has an influence on the rate of urbanisation. High income countries like the UK and Japan are countries that are more economically developed. Most of the population in these countries already inhabit urban areas. Many people in high income countries are actually starting to move to rural areas to escape the overcrowded cities. The good transport and communication links allow people in high income countries to commute to work from rural areas or work from home. Low income countries, such as Ethiopia and Nepal, are countries that are less economically developed. Only a small percentage of the people in these countries inhabit urban areas. The highest global rates of urbanisation are found in low income countries. Newly emerging, econ newly emerging economies, such as in India and China, are countries in which economic development is rapidly increasing. Some are currently experiencing rapid urbanisation, however, some have already seen a mass movement towards cities. What is an increase in the proportion of people living in towns or cities within an area? The correct answer is urbanisation. High or low income countries? Most of the population in these countries already live in urban areas. The correct answer is high income countries. Only a small proportion of the people in these countries live in urban areas. The correct answer is low income countries. What are the factors causing urbanisation? The two main causes of urbanisation are rural to urban migration and natural increase. High rates of urbanisation lead to the creation of megacities, which are cities of more than 10 million people. Currently, there are 34, which were more expected to be created by 2030 in Africa and Asia. The push factors for rural urban migration are that people can't afford to repair damage caused by natural disasters, mechanisation of farming equipment means fewer jobs are available, desertification can make it hard for people to support themselves as the land becomes less productive, and people might be forced to flee their homes because of conflict. The pull factors of rural urban migration are that urban areas provide more jobs and jobs which are often better paid. Healthcare and education are more easily accessible in urban areas, and the thought of joining other family members that have already moved there is really desirable. There's also a perception that urban areas provide the best quality of life. Finally, natural increase. Natural increase happens when the birth rate is greater than the death rate. Let's quickly recap that. What are the pull factors affecting rural to urban migration? These are more jobs, which are often less paid. Healthcare and education are more accessible. The desire to join other family members that have already moved, and the promise of the quality of life. What do we call a city population of more than 10 million? The correct answer is a mega city. Let's quickly look at rates of urbanisation in different countries. In London, England, most of the population in HICs, high income countries like England, already live in urban areas like London. Shanghai, which is the newly emerging economy in China, um, are current some and newly emerging economies are currently experiencing urbanization, rapid urbanization, but some in such as China have already seen a mass movement towards cities like Shanghai. What are the pull factors affecting rural urban migration? More jobs, which are often less paid. Healthcare and education are often more accessible. Join other family members who have already moved and promise of a better quality of life.